morning we as in lawrence me holly and Haley. she's about to get in the car are going on our a little adventure to flagstaff today Haley's getting in the car i showed Hello. all the pups <laughs> <Hi. laughs> you love Haley? yeah honey good girl We're taking a lunch break and got some sliders and chicken tacos and doggies. Both doggies are here being so good. Okay, please excuse if you can hear the music in the background because my my neighbor's having a, a party. Um, not the point of me coming on here. So if you hear Ollie barking, that's why. I just figured out the coolest thing. I think they just started doing this on YouTube. You guys, when I'm going to like, if you don't have a YouTube account, you don't know what I'm looking at right now. This is my YouTube like studio. I should be editing in the vlog right now also, calling myself out right now, but I'm procrastinating. It's seven o'clock at night and instead I wanted to read your comments and respond to some because I'm such a slacker with that and I know that. Please don't hate me for it. I love you guys so much. And I just wanted to come on here and say that um, because I just got so excited about this. When I hover over this, if you allow people to see your subscriptions, I can then see how long you've been subscribed to me. <gasps> That's so freaking cool. Hi, Karen. Love you. Thank you for being subscribed to me for six years. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now, not every one of you has that um, highlighted, so I'm just going to showcase the people that have oh my god this is the coolest freaking thing ever she's also been subscribed to me for six years okay sarah jane definitely deserves another shout out here nine years subscribed to me thank you sarah you're amazing and i do recognize your profile picture actually when you guys change it on me it takes me a second sometimes but a lot of, some of you have kept it for a long time and, or I just recognize your names a lot of the time after a while, but it throws me off when you change your pictures. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this maybe every week if you guys like it. You're kind of seeing a sneaky little peek behind me. Yes. Pinks are going to be incorporated into this year's Christmas decor, but it's going to be predominantly candy cane. And yes, I did get the gingerbread house. Spoiler alert. Anyways, I came on here because you ever just like not have something for a really long time and then you have it and you're like, oh my God, that's so good. Butter toast. Dave's killer bread is what I'm having right now. It's so good. And yes, I am having some protein with my butter toast. I'm having some egg with um, a little bit of cheddar cheese inside of there too. Don't come for me that I'm using a paper plate. Good morning. I probably have morning voice and for that I'm sorry, <laughs> but I got this beautiful package from Pixie. Every year they send me 
um, my own glow tonic personalized. And this year they brought, like, they sent it in this gorgeous box. It says glow on gorgeous. Your light is a gift to the world. And then open it up. Keep this box for your glowing essentials. Oh, okay, cute. You can repurpose this beautiful box. And then see, it says Melissa's Glow Tonic. And I just think that's so special that they send um, their ambassadors one every year. And I do love and use my tonic. So thank you so much, Pixie. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the hive. It's been a while. Right now, I'm going to make some of my own turkey boats, I call them. They're very healthy because they're vegetables and I use turkey meat. So right now I'm browning some onions and then after that I'm going to put in a bag of Genio turkey meat. I get the 93%. The other one's too much lean and it doesn't taste good. Okay, so we'll do okay. that. Okay. I put the turkey meat in here and I'm just going to brown it and then we're going to put some garlic and seasonings in it, okay? okay. What I did is I put some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, some salt and pepper, some garlic, I got some in the jar, Kirkland's big old garlic mince, put as much as you like okay. in. And now I put in some red peppers because I love them and I scooped out all of the meat out of the zucchini just took a spoon scooped it out then I put them in a boiling water for a minute just to soften them up a little bit okay so it's cooking everything smells amazing I'm getting all fogged up whoa foggy okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Del Monte or whatever brand you like, four cheese pasta sauce. Throw it in. Yeah. Stir it up. Now, say you don't want pasta boats. Say you just want a nice spaghetti sauce with zucchini in it, you can do that. You could throw chicken in here and put that over some noodles or something. You, you can do so much with this. Yeah, I'll let that cook down a little bit now. To the sauce, I put some Parmesan cheese. You can do Parmesan Romano. You can do whatever cheeses you like, just to give it some more flavor. And then at the end, to thicken it up, I'll just put a little bit of Progresso Italian breadcrumbs to thicken. Guys, just let it cook. Put it down low. I'm gonna put some breadcrumbs now, just to thicken it up a little bit. I know, Angie doesn't measure, I know. You just put, do you see how it's getting thicker just by putting a little bit of breadcrumbs in there? Yeah. Cooking is about tasting how you like things. I don't measure. Wow, really got thick really quick. Guys, I also put a little bit of mozzarella in this uh, filling, just a little, just to give it some more cheesy goodness. Then we're gonna take these and stuff them. What I did was I put a little bit of marinara sauce. You can put whatever one you want on the bottom. I do this one, Bertoli's. Put it on the bottom so that when I stuff them and put them in the sauce, they won't stick. Okay, so we're gonna stuff them next. So basically, I'm taking the stuffing and I'm just putting them in, filling them in, fill them up as much as you want. I put some cheese on top. I'm gonna to put a foil wrap on top. And when I'm ready to eat them, I'm gonna cook them for about a half an hour to 45 minutes so they get nice and soft. Good morning, it's Monday, and I'm gonna be going to Wonder Spaces today. Do you guys know about this? If you're in Arizona, then you can go and experience this right now in Scottsdale. It's really cool art installation, immersive experience that's supposed to be really different and really fun for like a date night or just to go out with your friends. Today, I'm taking my good friend Jennifer because it's her birthday tomorrow. So we're gonna make this a birthday celebration too. And we're gonna to go to P.F. Chang's for lunch and just have like a girl's day. So come on with us. This is her gift. Um, it's like all kind of spa related goodies. 
Hope she likes it. Yeah, this one is interactive, so you can go and put your own tape over there. Yeah, I think it's different masking tapes. And then everyone's been like placing it on there, and so you add to the art piece. Pretty cool. Jennifer is contributing hers. I'll show you where I put mine. It looked really cool. It looked like you were gonna go through time a warp or something in the middle of there, yeah? <laughs> it really looks like that. through this pipe, we're like, uh, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, cool. Oh, it looks so cool. Wow, it looks so cool. Ghost projections. Okay, just now getting back from Wonder Spaces, we had such a good time. It was a really fun experience. Um, I Probably my favorite thing was the mirrored where you put your face into the box and you have like multiple 
um, mirrored images of yourself. It's so different and cool. Um, also the one where you lay down on the bean bags and just like look up at the big spiral of laser lights going on. I mean, I could have sat there for hours. I could have taken a nap there. Jennifer said the same. She said, um, both of those, I think her favorite was the one where you put your face into the box for sure was her favorite. Um, and then I think my second favorite, my first favorite was the laser one and then second would be the box and then the being able to like be a part of the art exhibit by putting the um, tape onto that first exhibit I showed you. That was super cool. Um, yeah, so I think it's worth seeing. I wish there was more to it because we probably finished it in about 45 minutes to an hour, but maybe if you're like at the mall, because it's within Fashion Square Mall. Um, so if you're at the mall and maybe you're waiting to go to the movies and you've got some time to kill, that would be a really cute activity to do for a date night, like right before your movie if you've got time or we were waiting for your, you know, reservation or something. We lucked out though, because since it was a Monday, there wasn't a lot of people there. We maybe saw like one or two like groups of people. Um, so we pretty much were walking the museum or like art installation all on our own. It was awesome. So there was also a VR set area that I couldn't film. Obviously I had like the VR goggles on. I should have filmed the other people with it on, but I get kind of weird about, I don't want to film other people that aren't really wanting to be on my video. When it's at an art exhibit or at Disney or something, you kind of have to just know that people are going to be taking pictures and, and, you know, videoing, but I didn't film that area. But just so you know, there is this really cool like space space black hole experience that takes about 11 minutes that you can do during the wonder spaces as well. We are being extra spoiled today and mom made oven roasted chicken with potatoes and carrots. And yummy. Yeah, it like falls off the bone. It's so yummy.